Hi, this is going to the light to share how to add header to list box in VBA. First, let's insert a list box for this tutorial. Go to properties to ensure that we are going to have header. Look for column heads and change to true. Since we have two columns here, column call, we change to two. As we can see, the list box and large unexpectedly. So if let's say we don't want this to be happen, for the integral height, change to false. So we can insert again. Press change the integral height to false. Column we have two and column heads change to through and now we can move on to the visual basic to write the code we can double click on the current sheet and write the code since this is talking about set header so we can make use of the name set header and we should first call the list box which is on sheet one so we have sheet one dot list box and we just have to make use of the function list fill range and the range that we're going to type here must be in terms of string so we have to make use of quotation mark since this is on the same sheet the list box and the data is on the same sheet so we don't have to write the name of the sheet but we can simply write the range and we should exclude the header the header will be automatically printed by excel so we should exclude the header so the range is from a2 to b5 so we type a2 to b5 and we run so we already obtained the correct list box as we can see here since we have two different sheets how if let's say we have data on the other sheet and we want to call it from the other sheet as we can see here let's first clear the data so as we can see if let's say we make use of the clear it seems like not working as we can see as we can see here it's not working so what we have to do here is we still have to use back the list fail range and now we should set to false or we can simply set equal to now so me means that make the list box become empty as we can see so both workable either we use now or we change to false next it's time for us to call the data on the second sheet so this is equal to if we make use of sheet 2 and the range suppose exactly the same a2 to b5 it seems it's not working as we can see here when we run nothing happened because we don't have any sheet that call sheet 2 this is the name different but not sheet 2 so what we have to do here is we should take out sheet 2 and we type sheet to dot name what we need here is the name and we use emphasis to connect exclamation mark together with the range exclamation mark is very important okay now let's run we're supposed to get the correct data as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you